Hey, today we're going to take a look at a, a little Snub Nose 38. Now, a lot of people are buying these today for uh, concealment, but a lot of people think because you have a, a two inch barrel like on this Smith & Wesson, that these guns aren't very accurate. Now what I have here is a, a Smith & Wesson model 36. It's a nickel plated 38 special, five shot. I do have uh, five empties in there and I'll show you why here in just a second, but they are empty. But uh, a gun like this today is very popular. They're a lot more accurate than most people realize. So we're going to take a quick look at it and then we're going to get over to the range and, uh, and uh, do some shooting with it. Mm -hmm. Now the reason I have these dummies in here, you don't want to dry fire a gun that has the uh, firing pin on the hammer because you're going to end up breaking the, the firing pin. Practice shooting this gun double action. Don't always just sit there and slow target shoot single action. Uh, give this thing a good workout and uh, it might save your life. So let's get over to the range and uh, see how this thing shoots. But you know what? You don't want to always practice shooting two-handed. It's very important that when you carry a defensive weapon that you practice shooting one-handed. Uh, you just never know when when that might end up saving your life. So, uh, you know, shooting one-handed is very difficult, but that's why you need to practice. And uh, I'm going to reload here. But, you know, you can't just shoot strong hand one-handed either. You got to shoot weak handed. And that's even more difficult, which is even more of a reason to, uh, to practice shooting uh, weak handed. Most of us are right handed. So get that gun in your left hand and practice. And you know, you don't have to sit here and try and shoot one inch groups. You want to get your rounds center of mass. Just like that. You know, shooting paper targets all the time can get pretty boring, so set up some reactive targets. Uh, I like to shoot water jugs myself, but again, practice a lot shooting weak hand. And practice again shooting one handed strong hand. But anyways, practice shooting one-handed. Might save your life. Suppose you have a threat that's even further out than, say, a couple of yards. Say it's out at 15 yards. Will a gun like this be able to, to hit a target? I got a one gallon water jug set up at 15 yards. Now if I'm ever going to shoot a gun that far, a gun like this that far, I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot a single action. Well, let's try 25 yards. Another thing I want to mention, if you're gonna carry a gun like this. Make sure you're using a good hollow point bullet. Don't be shooting no target loads. You uh, get you some good quality uh, hollow points. You know what? Again, if you're going to carry a gun like this, especially with a two inch barrel, you really need to practice. But these guns are really quite accurate as long as you. Uh, as long as you follow your trigger control, your breathing, your stance, your follow through, all that. Uh, but the main thing is get out there and practice. You know what? That's about it for this. Uh, we'll see you guys next time.